Hello there, so, um, Turtle Force just released a new developer update and I thought, yeah, well, fucking easy content, let's just re uh, react to it and let me, like, give give you my opinion uh, afterwards. Um, I have seen, um, the skins that will be added in the update, um, already. Uh, but I haven't really seen anything else, it's a four minute video, so I thought, like, let's look in there and, um, I will just talk shit about it or, um, yeah, just give you my opinion on it afterwards, so, let's go. It's an ideal map for close range gunfights sharing the same theme as Brewery and Raid. 1.25 will bring you a new game mode. So just pausing here real quick. Um, I don't really understand the motivation behind um, adding a new map, like a new TDM map, um, instead of making just Brewery playable, you know? Um, like, from what I've seen, like, I've obviously not been on the map yet. From what I've seen, um, everyone wants, like, the old Brewery. Like, not the old one, but let's, uh, I mean... They don't want to want people to call it the old one. Uh, it's much rather um, the one that was first released as brewery. People just want that, and um, I don't really see the issue behind just taking the entire map layout of it, just changing the visuals of the map in some way, shape, or form, so it it like fits fits in a different theme, um, and yeah just re-releasing the map, because that's literally the, the TDM map, basically everyone that has been playing the game since 2018 or previously, like literally that's the map that people want, like the map layout matters, not really how it looks, moving on. Elimination, you're gonna be able to play it in the new map, Warehouse. It's super fun, there's no timer, and the objective is to eliminate all your opponents, it's all about gunfights. We are eager to see what you think about it. So, what I think about it. It's essentially the warm-up mode from CS in a game mode. Um, it's not the number one favorite game mode that I wanted to see, which is uh, still um, free fall or just some kind of way where you have more than two teams. Because that would just be, like, it would just be great to have, like, many people standing around on the map just... It's just a lot more gunfights. Like, um, imagine uh, fighting against, uh, like, having to uh, aim at... Um, 15 different people instead of just the uh, current um, at max 8, you know? Um, that would just be so much cooler, you know? But um, I think it's a step in the right direction. It's probably pretty good for a warm-up. Um, it also looks like this map is a pretty decent, like, 1v1 map. Um, so, in general, I can say, um, like I would say right now, the update could be better, but it could also be a lot worse. A set of cool and unique rewards for those who are committed to our ranked game mode. It yeah, as I said, skins look cool. I am playing a red loadout, so I won't play them, but in itself, they are pretty cool. Um, there's one more thing, though. Uh, I have no idea what the other rewards are. Maybe they show it in the video, but um, I like the reward of the uh, rewards of the old season, which would probably, uh, which would potentially like allow you to. Um, get the critical pass for free if you played enough ranked, which is a pretty good uh, idea in my eyes because many people are not willing to spend money into a game that can't give them any money back. Which is, you know, from my perspective, understandable. I've paid more than enough money into this game. Um, the point is kind of, I think people should be, um, if they are good players, uh, should be allowed to uh, get some uh, perks from from that, except for a skin that they probably won't use. Um, I personally, um, would say that it should be a lot harder to get those credits in my eyes, you know, I think you should, you shouldn't get, um, like stuff for, for join, uh, for getting into iron or getting into fucking bronze or something, but you should like get smaller rewards for the smaller steps in like master one, master two, master three and so forth, uh, so on, which would probably be a better system for me, but let's have a look what the new rewards are. For snipers, SVD is now more accurate and becomes a viable sniper pick for S. So, I have not known about the balance adjustments. I know that um, devs have been working on some adjustments, or one dev in particular. Um, I like them. Um, like I, I like that uh, weapons are being changed a bit. Um, let's not talk about the MP5 for a second. I already see price decrease, which is probably going to be shit, but regardless. Um, many weapons need redesigns in my eyes, because um, the gameplay has just become incredibly stale, and yeah, there's only like two weapons really used per team, which is the sniper and the main rifle, which is SG and AUK. Um, if you can't afford any of them, you're probably going full eco, because like, except for um, maybe plaza or um, very situational spots on the other maps, 
no one really uses shotguns or SMGs, at least in ranked. Like, in comp, it's obviously a different story, but we are, we are talking about ranked here. Um, on one side, I find it good uh, that um, they're trying to um, make use of more weapons, but um, in my SD, the, the um, more useful way or the more healthy way to go for that is um, probably to just make the weapons a lot weaker and a lot harder to use, um, the, the top weapons. Because, see, no weapon in this game really has Rico. Um, you have aim assist, so there's no real reason, to, uh, no real need for you to aim if you are already like uh, holding an angle. You're literally just aiming at a corner, waiting for someone to walk around that corner, and in the time that you need to kill him, there is no way he will get out of your cross aside, uh, aside from like situations where you are very, very close to the corner, which you obviously should never be. Now, um. The recoil is not capable of ever getting you off the enemy if you just if you just shoot, have decent reaction time, and kill him. Okay, so guns should have spray. Uh, guns should have recoil, so they are harder to use. You can't just sit like 500 meters away from an enemy and two tap them with an orc because it just ha doesn't have recoil. Um, guns should just feel different. You know, I don't feel any difference from uh, between orc. M4, SG, and uh, the fucking uh, AK, just for the fact that the SG has 100% armor penetration, the AUK has a silencer, and all of them do, like, slightly different damage. But aside from that, it's literally the same gun, which is kind of shit. The SVD rework in itself, I found the SVD to be a weapon that rather favors... Um, um, 120 FPS gameplay, because the recoil of it is basically uncontrollable on 60. Which is something that is shit, but you probably already know my view on that, if you have watched uh, this video. The issue is, um, I would need to see uh, in-game, because um, all they really say here is that it's a complete redesign. I see from the gameplay, it's still one shot to the body apparently, which is interesting. It's still, um, it just has a lot less recoil, which, you know... Can be good, but can also be fucking horrible. If you're just holding a long range angle, you just tap your shoot button once, and plus aim assist in the sniper scope, you just kill everyone instantly. It could be ins insane for holding angles on one side, but like it, it kind of it kind of matters um, how the redesign is done, and I have no idea how it's done because we don't uh, have any real like uh, substantial information here, which which is okay, right? Gonna play the beta eventually if it comes out, but uh, right now I just can't say anything about the SVD. MP5. Let's just uh, have a look what um, what Igor has to say. For SMGs, MP5 received a small buff to its damage output and a decreased price. We will. So decreased price probably gonna be down to 1.1. So it's essentially like a CZ because it also has been buffed, right? Um, probably gonna play like a ZZ, you just get that thing and just sit in a like short range angle. Um, maybe get Kevlar as well, just sit in a short range angle, try to spray someone down. It's probably gonna be the same thing as a shotgun, just a lot less situational because shotguns just... Shotgun, uh, shotguns are just extremely weird sometimes, like sometimes... I'm just gonna put you up a, a clip on, uh, on screen right now. Like sometimes you just one shot people across like 50 meters with a shotgun and sometimes you just sit in their face, shoot them twice and they just don't die. Which, you know, it could be a more consistent um, replacement for a shotgun. MPX price decrease, I, I honestly don't really care. Um, I'm pretty sure that um, SMGs are going to be a lot more viable in ranked, and maybe those changes actually uh, in um, comp, and actually those changes going to be uh, having an impact in comp, but in ranked they are absolutely not going to have any impact except the MPX is probably uh, like unless the MPX is like one thousand one hundred fucking dollars, and you just can you can just buy them in an eco. Aside from that, probably not going to have uh, too much of an impact. But um, yeah, I'm welcome to uh, like I'm very happy that changes are being made to see more usage in the earlier rounds. For pistols, Deagle and Dual MTX recoil was decreased. Now, you'll be able to play- That's an update I don't understand, because before the guns at least need a skill to use, Deagle now uh, still two shot to the body apparently, no existing recoil from the gameplay that I've seen, which is, well, <laughs> Gonna be fucking broken. Gonna be honest with you. Like, um, if you can just two tap people across, uh, like, uh, like maybe maybe he says something along the lines of yeah, may, uh, the the recoil has been uh, or the, the damage has been decreased or something, but I don't think so. Your shots easier. MR96. 
Yeah, no, no one really wants a, a, the game to be easier, to be fair. But yeah, okay, moving on. Cost its place in the previous season, but we hope that with the slightly bigger damage output, it will return to its former glory. And lastly... Uh, it's not. It's absolutely not. Like, the Deagle... Like, um, I tr I'm trying to understand the changes that are being made right now. So, you have a pistol that costs 700, and you have a pistol that costs 500. You have the pistol for 700, which shoots faster, deals more damage, and has the same recoil. Why the fuck would you spend $200 less? Like, in a pistol round, you're not going to have Kefla with any of them. Um, on T side, where you're buying the where you're buying them most likely because on CG you want to have Kevlar, um, it, unless they're adding a diffuse kit right now, but that's not going to happen. To be fair, um, you're obviously going to go for the gun that kills people faster, which is obviously the Deagle. I mean, if you miss your first shot, you can just hit the second, or the third, or the fourth, because you know I personally don't dislike the MR. But um, aside from that, like the Deagle is just sub um, subjectively a lot stronger, considering that it's only like two hundred dollars more expensive. If you compare that to the shotguns, where the FP6 is literally like cost like almost a third of the Super 90, while being more powerful, <laughs> it's kind of like the Super 90. It, it used to be good, but like right now, I hope they rework it right now. But I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not thinking that that will happen because Super 90 is just fucking shit. Like I've seen, I've shown you the clip before. Like what the fuck. <laughs> shotguns, massively underutilized due to their inconsistent damage. Now they will penetrate armor better and have more consistent damage. Better watch out those corners. Oh fuck. Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. So there are two options right now. Either the Super 90 is balanced again and all other shotguns destroy everything. Or the changes have no effect because they still don't work on every map. Like, the point is, I kind of, like, if you look at the Super 90 gameplay again, that's the range that it used to have back then. Which I welcome because I didn't think the Super 90, vi Super 90 was insanely overpowered as everyone put it. I think it was just a viable gun um, that was very situational and that you had to uh, account for if you were pushing stuff. It could have used a little nerf back then. Not the huge fucking big chongus nerf that it got. It was more like, it's just a tiny bit less damage, maybe a bit less armor penetration, that would have been it, right? They literally just nerfed it down to fuck to the fucking core of the earth. Like, right now, this looks like, if every other shotgun has the range that the Super 90 has here, because he's not saying Super 90 range increased, he's, or, or armor penetration and damage increased, he says for all shotguns. So, the FP6 is going to be a sniper rifle now, it already has been before, and it's going to be even worse now. Same for the Winchester, or the M1887. And the Super 90 is going to be balanced. So we're ex essentially having the same issue again, just that the shotguns now, uh, th just now that all shotguns destroy, and not just two of them. Yeah, I would revert all the changes that are made to the shotguns except for the Super 91, to be fair. But I haven't played it yet, and it's just from how the video looks. There's one big and exciting feature coming in a future update. Last season, we introduced a few restrictions to our matchmaking that unfortunately caused some confusion. For this season, we are committed to improve on the communication, not only regarding these restrictions, but also how player ranked information is shown in game. Here's a little sneak peek. Has a little bonus. This I find that good. To be fair, I find that really good. Um, which, yeah, I think that's a good change. Um, just the, like the slight issue that there are like two people with elite ops too, which. But regardless, um, <laughs> it looks like a good change. Um, I think I think that could be something that works, uh, or that's uh, gonna have a positive impact in uh, in general. Just making the making it easier to understand. I think future update will also soften the matchmaking restrictions at higher ranks to both encourage rising stars and challenge top players. With that said, let us know about your thoughts on rank. What? what? Why? You're just making it easier for Smurfs. Like you get you you get ranked into uh, like currently it's like plus one rank, plus minus one rank, and like a little bit in in some cases, right? So you 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 can be diamond three and you play with masters of the three. So you're close to you're not even master yet, and you're able to play with people that rank up to spec ops. Like softening those even more, you're literally allowing people 
to make Smurf accounts on Diamond and de-rank people from Spec Ops. Not just because the teams are unbalanced, but literally because... But, 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 but why would you do that? Well, what the fu- Okay. Yeah, it, it's fine, it's fine. Season 5. Back to you, Kali. Thanks, Igor. A lot of stuff coming in Rank Season 5. 1.25 will also bring you a new event. Spring Fair. The Golden Ox farm is hard at work. To deliver you the most fresh- Not gonna shit on the fact that they are recycling events every year too much. But, yeah. New event is kind of, eh. And <clears throat> imported goods. From all around the world, these products are <clears throat> top quality. I mean, take a look at this Apple. I mean, <clears throat> tactical. That's the same trailer from yeah, from uh, last year. But like, um, it doesn't really belong into this video. But for me personally, um, I would be like, if I was um, the person that I was like a few years ago, um, and I would be starting off playing Greek clubs right now, and I would be paying the same amount right now that I did back then. I would be incredibly pissed at the fact that people can literally get skins that I paid a lot of money for just next year. Again, like, that skins are being recycled, which is, it's kind of stupid, to be fair. Like, the skins, it's it's not like the skins are um, incredibly hard to make, in this case, because it's literally a pattern that you slap on a 3D model, uh, and you cut some bits out. I personally don't think that you should uh, you should be required to recycle skins, especially not tier four, tier five skins. Like I don't care if if you recycle like tier two skins, tier three skins. I honestly don't give a fuck, right? But you shouldn't recycle fucking tier five skins and knives. Like how unfair is that? That people who di who um, supported the devs at um, Winterfest 2017, which is fucking years ago. They just don't get shit from it because all the skins from that event are still um, able to. Uh, you can, you are still able to get those in every Winterfest and in every re Rewind. Which, why? Like it just lowers the value of the skins. Why would you do that? It, it's just I just don't get it. Like I'm sorry, but that's just something kind of idiotic in my eyes. Like, the exclusivity of many of these ghost skins and the reason why they are so um, so wanted and expensive is that you could only get them for, like, very short amounts of time and now getting them will be fucking expensive. The exclusivity makes up the price for skins. And no Seop skin is really exclusive except for the Season Pass skins, but I wouldn't be surprised if they get recycled at some point. Um, Apple. Uh, tactical Spring uh, Axe. Yeah. Aren't there oranges in the chests? Not not apples. Like I could be wrong, but isn't it golden ox oranges? Whatever. <laughs> and last but not least, the new critical pass season twenty-four. Bringing you all kind of cases, credits and more. I mean take a look at this voodoo skin for the SG. Alright, I think that's it for this video. If you like this format, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and if you want us to address something in the future, just comment down below, or join our Discord. And I think that's a wrap. Ready? Yeah, I kind of commented Ready. right now. Um, Wait, I like the format. I have to I have to say, honestly, compared to like 2017, 2018's level, uh, 2018 levels of community interaction, this format is fucking incredible. Like, despite the things that I said, like, negative about the changes in itself, I love the format, right? I love the community interaction. I wish we had that, like, for a few years ago. Yeah, I, I think I said everything that I want to say. Um, I'm gonna, I'm working on a video right now. Um, gonna come out, like, later this week, so, see ya.